So what's up guys? Just jumping on here on the red channel with the PV6505MH. This is without a doubt my favorite amp of all time. It definitely has a lot of character to it. We are just in the red channel and I do have an equalizer pedal on the board which is accentuating the mids and the highs and dropping some of the lows to just kind of tighten up the signal altogether. Um, we went through several pickup configurations here with this guitar. This is the RG3 XXV 25th anniversary RG. It has a single coil and neck splitting neck uh, set up here, so humbucker and neck. It's the uh, Air Norton or something like that, and then the, I don't know what's in the bridge, probably like a tone zone or some shit like that. Um, either way, so you hear towards the end there how I was in the neck single coil position, how jangly and absolutely just rich and full of strat tone awesomeness that was in there. Um, yeah, that's one of the cool things about this amp is that it preserves your uh, neck signal. And that's something for me that's a definite have to have. It's like a deal breaker. If my amp or pedals do not preserve my neck single coil signal, then I'm done. Next pedal, next amp, you know, I'm done. Um, incidentally, you're running at like one on the game, you know, like level one. And so I didn't even bother to like take it all the way up to 10 or 11 or whatever the hell. Um, I think the amp sounds great at that low of a gain stage. The post gain, which would be like the overall master volume for this channel in the red, is set at 3. Not 3 o'clock. Uh, more like 10 or 9 o'clock, but set at level 3. So definitely got a, a large amount of um, signal here. Uh, I played with some of the power amps, so let's do some more of that. I want to hang out on these two controls right here, the power amp section. In the power amp, we have the resonance, resonance and the presence. So we're going to you know, run around with some predictable... EQ settings, same gain setting, really low, and um, hang out with the presence and the resonance controls. And you tell me what you like, right? Let's hear that. So what do you think about that? Do you like um, how the power amp section with the resonance and presence control really have the final say-so on your overall signal sound, right? Like, I think it's really interesting how if you were to dial both of them all the way back, it sounds kind of muffled, and if you just pull up the resonance, it gets kind of woofy. If you just pull up the presence, it gets really shrilly. 
but you need the sh you need the the presence there for the singing lead uh, um, notes. But you need, in my opinion, the resonance there to kind of fill out the bottom. I really like that. <laughs> You know, um, like most amps in this uh, category, whenever you dial up a little bit more gain, that's when you start to get the filling of the bottom end. And so just now when I pulled the gain up to like, uh, I guess like two and a half-ish, definitely the bottom end started getting overpowering. So in that case, you get to back back on the resonance control or there's the low control on the preamp. Um, that's really good because when you're chugging and you're doing rhythm, you want to be able to control that low end. And so this amp gives you complete control over that, right? The, the only thing I wish about this amp, and it's not going to happen because this is a really big request, would be as if it had MIDI programmable channels, right? Like, like four buttons on the face, like one, two, three, four. And then you set all your settings for one, set all your settings for two, set all your settings for three and four. That way you can just switch between all of them. And then, you know, all the equalization, the preamp, the postamp, and then the power amp with the resonance and presonance control would all follow suit. That would be the only way to improve this amp. Other than that, this is this amp's the best. I mean, of all the chugging and, and you know, generic metal riffs that I play here with all these amps and all this stuff that you see here and you've watched in my previous videos playing, this amp has the best organic pound for pound sound because I think there's like 499 right and I've had this for almost two years now I got it when it first came out and ever since then it's changed everything for me you know like I, I, I if this house was burning down I would grab that amp and run out and this guitar you know this guitar and that amp would probably be the two things I would run out the, run out of the house with and then you know the wife and the cats and all that stuff I'd have the wife grab the cats and I'd make sure she got out before me <laughs> But as far as that goes, man, like I said, this is just a red channel. Just hanging out with a red channel. What do you think? Um, some of you may have the EVH and the new one that's coming out soon. I personally think this amp has a lot more to offer than the EVH. In fact, I'm, I'm just going to sell my EVH. I'm just saying now. I'm going to sell my EVH Generation Mark I. And uh, most likely just um, stick with this PV. Because there's nothing... The only way I would ever get rid of this amp would be is if I got probably the classic amp, the, the PV Classic one, when it's like a tweed. But, I mean, that red channel on this amp is just monstrous. I mean, I, I sit here while my wife's doing makeup on that side of the room, and I'm sitting here and hanging out with her. And I'm just like, red channel, oh my god, I don't even want to go anywhere. I don't even want to go to work. I just want to stay here all day long and play red channel. Like, I, I can't even describe it. Um... Anyways, so that's been this video. I hope you liked it. If you uh, have this amp, what's your favorite channel? What are your favorite settings? Um, do you use pedals with it? I personally like to use pedals in the green channel, non-crunch mode. But when it comes down to the overall uh, fullness of the signal and, and dynamic character and all that stuff, you really just can't beat the red channel and just a straight-up guitar. Now, like I said, I do have an EQ pedal in there. Now, you hear that noise that was being introduced into the signal? I just turned it off. I do have an EQ pedal on. It's a Donner equalizer pedal. And uh, like I said, the highs are high up and the, and the mids are mid up. 
and the lows are low down. You know, that way, you know, it's kind of like lows, mids, high. That's the form I have for it. And that's just to tighten up the signal. Instead of using like a tube screamer, which I have down here, multiple variations and iterations of that platform. Just using an EQ pedal on an amp like this, and I'm using it in front of the signal, uh, really tightens up everything. So, like I said, that's been this video. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me what you think about this amp. Um, I'll catch you guys next time, later on this weekend.